Hey guys, welcome to this episode of Unfiltered Beer Reviews. And today we have a beer out of Mount Pleasant, South Carolina. It's coming in from Westbrook Brewing and this is their take on the traditional Goza style. And you know, most Gozas are, I guess, brewed with the typical spices, corianders, very salty, tarty beers. Mm -hmm. And I believe this is coming in at 4%, you know, Gozas. Really can't go wrong with them. They're really kind of making a resurgence and they're very good beers. I really like the salty and tartiness. Yeah, most of the Gozas I've had have been uh, complimented with some sort of fruit or whatnot, but this one apparently is just a plain standard Goza. Um, so we'll see what's up with that, yeah. whether that contributes or detracts from the overall flavor. I yeah, haven't had anything from Westbrook before, so this is the first beer that I've had from them. Yeah, same. And I think other than couple other beers this is the first or one of the other first beers we've really had that's not been from North Carolina yeah but it's still pretty local East Coast Southeast salty tardy can't really go wrong with that are you ready to crack them open well are you oh yeah crack a lacking damn it look you made you spilled I just spilled some beer never mind <laughs> I'm trying to talk some shit <laughs> these are a little uh, frothy here yeah, and these are what, 4% I believe? Yeah, I think that's right. About 4-ish. Four so that's probably what, about 5 IBUs, 10 IBUs. Best served at 45 degrees, that's what it says here. These aren't quite that cold, but it'll be good enough, I yeah, think. You get that better flavor and off of a warmer beer. Yeah, 4% alcohol, malt beverage brewed with coriander and sea salt. It's a pretty cool looking can, I like that design. It says, this is our interpretation of a Goza. A traditional German style wheat beer brewed with coriander and salt. Once nearly extinct, this very refreshing style is making a comeback. Well, wow, that's a relatively fresh beer there. Wow, it is. Yeah, the 12th of this month. Mm -hmm. And what's today? Today, I believe, is the 30th. 30th? Yeah. So, wow, that's pretty fresh. Yeah, not too much of a head, you know, after it's set a little bit. Mm. Very hazy straw color. Looks fairly carbonated, judging yeah. by the uh, amount of bubble rise. Still rising, yes. Already Very getting amazing. that strong smell. Smells like a wheat beer. Getting the grassy notes. See how this, this beer is very hazy. Head's really gone down, 4%, no lacing. All right, you ready to get a nose on it? Yeah, let's see what's up. See, so yeah, right away I get a strong straw, like hay. I don't get a pininess hay, but just like a... Hey. Yeah, getting some grassiness. Some grassiness. There, there you go. Couldn't think of that. I can, I guess, smell a little bit of the salt water. Maybe like a soy type smell. Would you say the grassiness is like a really strong wheat smell, possibly? Yeah, definitely a grainy smell. Not getting too many more complexities than that. Just I kind of get a little bit of a lager off of this. I do smell a little bit of the saltiness. That's really all I can pick up off of it. Yeah, that's about it. Well, let's dive in to the salt water. Cheers! Mm. Very salty. That's the first thing that hits me though. It's a puckering type of saltiness, but it really goes well with that tarty. What do you think? I really enjoy the tartiness from mm. it. You know, I don't quite get the saltiness. No? I really just get that whole tartiness it's almost like you have a warhead in your mouth and it's just that yeah it's not so much sweet it's definitely more of a a tarty bitterness it's excellent you know the the mini gozas that i've had i don't think that that first initial flavor that you get will ever get old i really enjoy that yep it's a a lip smacker mm, it's, tongue twister you know after drinking mini ipas and stouts and whatever you know going to something like this i really enjoy that yeah that's refreshing as fuck i mentioned earlier that this didn't have any sort of fruit additives and i really don't see that that's a negative on this beer <laughs> i really like the fact that these gozas are coming back i really wish people would appreciate them more because they're really good yeah the people that i've introduced this to have all disliked the flavor I guess because they're expecting something else being this color and then when they they get that flavor they're mm. just like what the fuck is this yeah it, my it, palate's not used to this you have to really appreciate beer to enjoy something like this that's probably why it went away for quite some time yeah and you know the beer appreciation it's really 
growing. Yeah, for sure. You know, I mean, you can definitely tell. I mean, look how many breweries are in North Carolina or even in America now. You know, it's there's so many. Well, I think Westbrook is really on point with this Goza. This is probably one of my top Gozas that I've enjoyed. Being only second to the, the Tropic most from Wicked Weed, I'd yeah. say. I was about to say, didn't you really enjoy the Tropic most? I did, yeah. Yeah, you can find that review. Yeah, this is a really enjoyable beer. It's really crisp. It's really yeah. smooth. Got a nice tartiness. Didn't quite pick up the salt, but, you know, that's okay. Yeah, we enjoyed this a little bit warmer than they recommended. So, yeah, I would say that the 45 degrees is about right. Unlike you, I've introduced this beer to try to get people to drink it. And it's the whole thing of you get that follow up text, man, that shit's gross. Sorry, it's good beer. You just don't like it for some reason. When my wife tried the, a cranberry goes at a bar once, she said that it reminded her of the taste of vomit. <laughs> vomit. That's what she said. Crazy people. So, what would you rate this? Um, I think that I would give this one an A. Just a flat A? Yeah, yeah, I'll go with an A. What about you? I'm gonna give this a B. You know, I really enjoy the Tropic Most. Mm -hmm. This is up there with it, but that Tropic Most... Yeah, the Tropic Most has a little bit more sweetness to it, mm. and that's very enjoyable. Yeah, this is good beer. Yeah, well, we'll have to check out some more beers from uh, Westbrook. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, that's it for another episode of Unfiltered Beer Review. Till next time, stay frosty and drink good beer.